Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we want to learn how to make this cute burr uh, coming out of a Christmas sock. So first of all, we flatten a piece of clay using a rolling pin or a pasta machine. And then we cut a Christmas sock out of it. And then I size it on my mug to see if it fits. Then we need to uh, make knitting parts. You can either um, roll your clay and then um, distance your fingers from each other and move your fingers to make it uh, longer as I'm doing it. We will need a lot of these long ropes or you can use a extruder to make long ropes and it will be much much faster. So you take two uh, clay ropes and then twist them in one direction. First I always do uh, outwards. And then I take uh, two other pieces and then uh, twist them inwards. So it should always be the opposite ways. And then we will stick them together to make our first row of knit. And then continue making more so that you can cover the whole sock area. And then use a knife or a cutter uh, to make a V shape cuts on the edges. Then I will place them uh, on my sock and cut them a little bit uh, because I'm gonna make a two color sock.
use the knitting、uh, method to just fill the sock and then、uh, use it again for the white clay. And then、uh, bend your cutter and cut the extras. I roll a piece of white clay in a tube shape and then、um, take off any stains if there is. And then use a needle. Or a needle shape tool、uh, to make scratches on the surface so that we can demonstrate a little bit of fluffiness on top of the sock. Then put some extra unwanted clay on your mat so it can、um, fill the sock up and it appears fuller than something is actually in it. I take the extra clay from the top off so that I can put my bear in it. I make a ball out of a clay and then I flatten it a bit.、Uh, you can always use makeup wipes or baby wipes to、uh, take off any stains or any dirt or anything on the clay. And then I use a needle、uh, to make a line in the middle of the face. Then I make a dent、uh, in the lower part of the face.
Then I use my needle to make some hair like scratches on the face. After all, it's a teddy bear, so it should be nice, fuzzy, and fluffy. And then I roll uh, two small balls for the ears and then I use a dotting tool uh, to make the air holes. I use my needle to make some fluffiness on the ears as well. I make a dent on the nose as well and then the mouth just with my needle and then with my dotting tool two eyes uh, to actually dent so that I can put the eyes in I make three very small uh, balls to put on the nose and the eyes And then I take a piece of clay and make a ball and then roll it into a cone and then make it a bit longer and then take the end and I push it through the surface so it's be more flat and then I use my dotting tool to make a dent in the middle This is actually the easiest way to make hands. Then I take a circle and then I scratch it with my needle and then put it as the hand on the sleeves. And then I flatten a piece of uh, clay, then I uh, take my cutter and cut the unevenness, I only need a very small amount. I cut it in half and then I use my needle to make small lines on it just a little bit of texture and sorry for my hair just come through the <laughs> camera I 
I add the texture and on the edge of my sleeves. So that they look uh, cleaner and more detailed. Uh, I put the um, white fluff that I made earlier uh, on the sock and then I actually put the uh, hands on top of that. And I add the teddy head. Then I cut the extra from the um, white part and I try to wrap it around my bear and be careful uh, wherever there is uh, no needle lines and needle scratches you should uh, add them afterwards. Now I'm trying to make a, a Santa hat for my bear. First you should make a ball and then you should roll it uh, from one side uh, so that it would be a cone and then size it. This is obviously too big for my uh, mug so I have to cut it a little bit. And then I push the middle part a little bit inside so it will be uh, more like a like a hat shape and then I make another fluff uh, for the Santa hat and the tool that I'm using is really handy especially during the Christmas. another fluff and I'm sorry for all the all the shakiness but obviously my working table is not optimum for this kind of job and I add the pom-pom at the end of the Santa hat then I made a ball out of a, a golden color Play and another ball that I'm gonna flatten and put it on top. Now I'm going to use a a hook shape that I have from my uh, jewelry stuff I cut it and now I will push it through the smaller part of the ornament now 
take a very small piece of clay and then make a very small fine uh, piece of rope and give the ornament to the bear. And now make a um, long rope uh, with red and another rope with green clay. Again, you, you can use them by rolling your fingers or you can use the extruder for them. For this one, I'm just using my fingers. Then twist two ropes together. And cut them in half. Use half of them on one side of the mug and the other half on the other. And you can style the end as you like. Then for make this gift super special, you can add the initials of the receiver to the ornament. I made an N as Nora as I'm giving this mic to me <laughs> because I'm just oh, felt in love with it. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please give it a thumbs up it will help me uh, very much and also please uh, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any other DIY videos that I post. Thank you for watching and have a great day.